Yo guys, what is up? No surprise here, another Tech Awareness unboxing. So let's waste no time and let's break right into this box and show you guys what I picked up. And right before I get into today's uh, unboxing, I wanna talk about Quelo really quick, which makes some really great um, silicone style rings for your adventures while you're there hiking, fishing, stuff like that. I don't know how many times, I think two or three different times I've actually lost my actual wedding ring while I was out um, doing something or if I was out on the water and it's fell into the water. Again, Coelho silicone rings is going to be great for any outdoor adventureman or anybody who works outside in the field or anything like that and you do not want your wedding band to get lost or ruined, things like that. Or if you just want a very cu um, customizable, comfortable, um, different styles, different colors, they got a little bit of everything. Um, the C1 I'm rocking right here. Then we got like another fish arrow one right here in green. Um, they're just very, very nice, comfortable silicone style rings. Again, I've lost my actual wedding ring, I think twice, one in the lake and then one just moving things. So um, it is really nice to fall back onto something and not have that worry. Yeah, if you're an outdoorsman like myself and you are looking for a you know nice silicone wedding band ring, they have so many different styles and colors. Um, you can engrave them if you want. There's so many different things. So I highly recommend checking them out if you guys are looking for something like that. I highly recommend you guys check them out at quelo.com. I will have it all linked down below in the description. And uh, let's get on to the unboxing. All right, first bait we picked up here is the Z-Man Elastec TRD Gobies. And this is in Gobi Bryant. Gonna be a nice little Ned style bait. Oh yeah, that's gonna be sick. Dig the color right there too. It's kind of like a green pumpkin with a blue hint, blue swirl kind of thing going on there. Nice little tail on the back. Oh yeah, the smallies are gonna eat this guy up. Up next, another bait from Z-Man, the SMH Worm Z, which is shaking my head worm in purple rain. This is a new color that I ended up picking up. That's why I grabbed it. Good looking color. Purple red flake. Hard to beat that right there. Look at that. That's gonna be sick. Gonna be a nice little shaky headworm from Z-Man, baby. Up next, we picked up some Lake Fork Pig Claw. This is in the bulk pack. This is a 3.5 inch in plum. So these are your nice jig trailers good looking color there you know your red purple blue flake this is the bigger size and then we've got the 2.5 inch in purple haze hard to beat anything with purple in it man I love the purple I like that up next, we got some old school Lake Fork Live Magic Shads. I don't see these uh, see these around too much or like anybody really fishing or talking about them, but these are one of my OG baits to throw, and especially on a chatterbait too, one of my favorites. And um, I just had to grab some more just because I really love fishing these guys. This is color in Ayu, comes in a six count. Hard to beat that IU, you know, that olive green, pearl. And then we got another one in green gizzard shad. Two of my probably most favorite colors. You know, this is like your greenish blue into, you know, that pearl silver style belly to it. Again, a great, a great bait to fish by itself or on a chatter bait as well. This was one of my favorite baits to ever throw on a chatterbait. So that's the Lake Fork Live Magic Shad. Up next, we picked up the Spro Rust Lane Fat Papa Walker 130 in Bone. Big old top water walk the dog bait, man. You guys uh, read the back there if you'd like. Seventh eighths of an ounce, 130 millimeters which is, I think, five inches or six inches. Yeah, that's a big boy. 
Big boy, but I dig it. Good sounding rattles, very sharp hooks. Very, very sharp hooks. Up next, we picked up the Z-Man, the Rattlesnaker. Comes with 10 glass rattles included, and that's to um, inject rattles into your soft plastics or your Z-Man baits, whatever plastic you would like. You can give them your own rattle now, which is really, really neat. And then we ended up picking up some extra rattles as well. So 10, a 10 pack of rattles plus 10 in here. So I got 20 for now. Cannot wait to play around with this guy. Maybe I'll do a video separately on this outside of this video, just on this product itself. But I will probably most likely be using these in the Z-Man products just because it'll probably hold the rattle in there a lot longer. And plus your bait is gonna last forever too. So you're not just gonna lose a rattle you know, every so many fish or so, it's probably gonna last you all day. So there we go, the Z-Man Rattlesnaker. Very interested to try this guy out. Cannot wait to give it a go. Up next, we got some stuff for BFS. This is the Micro Shad Heads from Z-Man. Again, I can rig this up with the little goby as well right here. We got it in 1 16th ounce in chartreuse. It's got a little bait keeper on there, little tiny, uh, tiny hook. And yeah, they'll, they'll look really good with the gobies. And then we picked up two little BFS baits from Striking. This is the Bitsy Splash Popper right here. I believe this should be in Tennessee Shad. It sure is. Not exact sure on the length of this guy. I will leave it in the comments right below. But yeah, just a little micro popper. Again, that's gonna be really, really good. I think it's gonna catch some big bass as well. And then we got the Bitsy Jerkbait right here. Tiny little jerkbait. Let me take this guy out. I mean, look at that little guy, guys. So, so tiny. Again, strictly for BFS. Here, I'll show it up to next to the, uh, the Arc Jerkbait right here. You guys can see, you guys can see the difference here. I'm not even sure how I can even show. But yeah, look at the difference in this bait it barely makes it to the first hook hanger on the uh on that arc right there such a big difference but i think it's gonna catch some great fish so that's the striking bitsy jerk bait and it is bitsy best baits i picked up i got a bunch of them are the 13 fishing jabber jaws um again guys i think these got um I think these are pretty underrated. I think they kind of went under the radar and they weren't really talked about or maybe it just didn't get popular enough. And then Sixth Sense came out with the Axis one or whatever and their marketing and stuff was just much higher and I think that Axis kind of took over. And then this got pushed like on the back burner and now these have been on sale for super cheap. So I just ended up picking up a bunch of them because it was really hard to beat the uh, sale on these guys. You guys can read the back of them if you want there. They're all gonna be the same besides the color. But yeah, so um, let's see, where are the colors at here? So we got Fire and Ice Craw right here. Fire and Ice, which is, you know, red and blue it looks like. Good craw pattern. Olive Shad, you guys know my greens. Love the greens, dig that. We got Lucky Charm, again, your olive greens, purples, and blues, a little bit of gold there. Green Gizzard Shad, great color. Here we got Rusty Brim, this can be a imitation of a bluegill like they said like a brim or a blue craw I like that color it's a good looking blue and then we got mud bug punch which is your nice red craw matte finish right there sick color I dig that a lot so yeah guys that is it for the unboxing hope you guys enjoyed 
fishing is right around the corner for me. It's going to be springtime. We're almost into March, February 26th. It is literally 70 degrees today, so I may head out there today. And then tomorrow we get a horrible cold front. It's going to be a high of 29, a low of 15. Weather has been nuts, but um, I cannot wait to start getting out there and trying to catch some fish. So um, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like, drop a comment, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace.